Hey YouTube, I just thought I'd get my Briggs Model N down from the shelves up there and show it to you guys. It smokes a ton. I've ran it a couple of times by sticking gas into the uh, the air intake. I have no idea what the carburetor looks like on the inside. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, I bought this one at swap meet and I got it for the price tag said forty dollars on it but I wedged it down to thirty I believe yeah thirty came with a recoil a pull, not a recoil a pull rope gas tank was missing has the brackets though they do kind of wobble a bit but that doesn't really matter and I don't know if you guys can see that or not but see how that's kind of like a little a ri little rivet there in the center well on this side it's a bit different so it looks like it's actually been you know tampered with also my spark plug wire is not long enough so I'm thinking this might be a coil or so something from newer Briggs or something because there's a two-stroke plug in there for a two-cycle or something. You know, there should obviously be a four-stroke uh, a plug that uh, has a... Uh, I can't remember, but it might be uh, a hotter plug or something. No, a colder plug because hotter ones are always inside of two strokes. But um, so that's why I don't run this very long. But... There's its tag. It's kind of hard to read. Model N serial, uh, or the type number is 306100. Serial number is 1324120. Um, and then it says the valve clearances and stuff, and I guess it looks like my oil, my oil seal might be leaking a tad, but that doesn't bother me any. Like I said, it burns up a hell of a lot of oil. Um, I believe this is either a January or a February of 1951 engine. So this is definitely one of the later ones. Cast iron and everything. So. Hey well, guys, there you have it. This is my Briggs and Stratton Model N. I believe it has been repainted and stuff sometime in the past as there are no decals or anything. So chances are when it had the the work done on its coil, as I believe that's actually been replaced. When it when that happened, uh the guy probably took it down and re repainted the shroud and stuff and the air cleaner. I mean, that's, you know, fresh paint, but I guess you didn't take the time to do the right job as it's awfully pitted. Um, you can just feel that there's rust all over it. Air cleaner, super, super dirty, but, oh well. That doesn't matter, I've never ran it with that on anyways. That's all there is to it. Lots of mud in between my cooling fins, so that's why I've never even ran it for more than a minute. But I just thought I'd show you guys my Briggs and Stratton Model N. Briggs and Stratton Model N from 1951. See you later, YouTube.